This is a flat profile 20 watt LED floodlight fixture and the reason I bought it was um, I, uh, firstly I just like the idea of the flat profile one. It's clearly designed to facilitate shipping as well um, because it really does pack down very flat and um, also it was available with a choice of colours. Um, this particular one is a 20 watt and the colour of the LEDs are green. I won't show you them lit because I've not got a plug in it at the moment and it's got this tiny little flex that they always have. But I'll open it up. So four screws give access to absolutely everything. This is very reminiscent, this style, of the um, metal halide type light fixtures. But in miniature, just little hand sized. So off comes the cover, off comes the glass. The seal is stuck in, which is quite good. The reflector has two screws, one at each corner, or should I say one at diagonally opposing corners. And the earth wire is pinched under one of those reflector screws. The LED is one of the very standard format again. Um, it's the universal frame that um, they've got 10 isolated pads inside it. I think they're isolated. I'm just going to take a wee look through the microscope and have a wee gander at that and see if there is any clear isolation. Mm, actually, it's hard to tell. Yes, I think they're isolated. Ah, interestingly. They're on an array, although they're scribed as 10 by 10, I think they're only isolated um, vertically, should I say, horizontally between the positive and the negative. So they're probably running them all effectively in parallel from one side to the other. And uh, in this case, as I say, it's a 20 watt uh, LED, so they've got uh, 20 chips occupying that area. If you get the 30 watt version, all they do is they put 30 chips in it, 50 watt, this, they put 50 chips in it, and 100 watts, they populate every single position. Um, but it's quite nice that it's a standard frame because that means that you can change it for whatever LED you like, as long as you uh, choose one of the same voltage. The ballast is just the bare circuit board in heat shrink, hot melt glued. Which, I mean, I suppose really that's all you need. Um, it's really simple. Really lightweight, there's not much in it. Once again, the LED is mounted in the back of this fairly large heat sink assembly, which, um, in the case, I'm sure it's fine for 20 watts. Um, I'm sure the fittings tend to go a lot larger for the higher wattage, like 50 or 100 watt, just purely for the thermal dissipation. I'm not sure what sort of temperature it would keep it in. Uh, I suppose they have to allow for it being used indoors as well as outdoors. But um, it's a good chunky heat sink for an LED module. Um, so really that's all there is to it. It's a, it's a very simple fixture. Just the aluminum housing, the heat shrink ballast, the LED itself, screwed on with two screws again, although they've got four positions. And I'm guessing there's heat sink compound under there. I don't actually see any squishing out the edges. But they've probably just got a blob right in the middle. Not sure why they've put the silicon in that. Oh, I, I guess why. No, actually, I don't really know, because um, it's not as if the reflector is really close to it. Hmm, maybe that's why they do it, though, just in case. Or maybe it's just anti-vibration.
but they're quite neat, neat lights anyway. I have had this one listened, it's really quite a breathtaking amount of green light comes out of it, so um, pretty good. I like, I like it, but then again, is there a light I don't like? <laughs>